We're going on a hike today. Hello, internet friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. And today, we're going on a hike. Very early. It is, it's 6.30 right now. It's very early. It's gonna be very hot today, so we're gonna hike somewhere shaded and early. <laughs> Through diet and exercise, I'm learning that I'm actually an active person. Uh, I used to play softball when I was a kid-ish teenager in high school. Softball and volleyball. Loved it. I thought I was like a specific sport kind of person, but I think, I think I'm learning that I actually enjoy outdoor activities, which I never thought I did. So weird thing to learn in my 40s, almost 40s, but it's a good thing to learn. Whatever gets me moving and out there and enjoying life. Little, little scatterbrain this morning. I'm still tired. I had my coffee, but it's, it's not hitting yet. So that's the plan for today. Quick mention about yesterday. I had shrimp to get to my calorie count and protein goal-ish. Not really, I got to 75 grams of protein. I had shrimp and it was very late so it didn't get in the video, but shrimp, I gotta wake up. Shrimp, tuna, chicken, all lean proteins, lots of protein, not a lot of extra fat and carbohydrates. So you're getting that essential amino acids. There's nine of them in a small package where you usually only have to count the grams times four and that will be your calorie count. There's very little fat on those, depending on the cut of chicken. Chicken breast is what I'm talking about. So that's my favorite way to get in a lot of protein when I don't have that many calories left. Uh, also, if you're vegetarian, vegan, I interchange those, I know they're different, but quinoa is a complete protein. Make sure you're eating your quinoa if you are vegetarian. I need to wake up a little bit, so I'm just gonna cook breakfast and I'll talk to you more on the trail. I got these yesterday. It is Dave's Killer Bread, cinnamon, raisin remix, 12 grams of protein, 51 carbohydrates, 11 grams of total sugars, includes six grams of added sugars. So not too bad actually, but there's only three grams of dietary fiber. So someone else do the math for me on where all those carbohydrates are coming from. I'm betting starch. It's fine. It gets me some protein and I want it and I'm gonna put three fried eggs in between the slices and a little dab of butter. I also need to make sandwiches for a quick snack on the trail. I'm gonna do just like turkey sandwich and I like to mimic Subway sandwiches with their sweet onion sauce. I use Ken's Steakhouse Sweet Valdelia Onion Sauce. It tastes like the sweet onion sauce. And then also I used to get banana peppers in my Subway sandwiches. So I grabbed some of these. I do like a little bit of spice, so I'm hoping this will mimic it even more. I get a fourth of a cup of these for five calories. When I started Vlogmas, I said I was gonna weigh everything to get a good idea of how many calories I wasn't counting regularly. I'm not gonna weigh this. I'm just gonna pop some on and count it as five calories. I have recalibrated. I have figured out pretty much where I was going wrong. I was doing an excess of calories because I wasn't counting everything I wasn't figuring out my nutrition. I don't think I need to weigh everything. I'm just gonna put it in my net diary as a slice of lettuce, five calories here, 30 calories here, and so on and so forth. That being said, we have to be out of here in an hour. I like to eat, digest, prep lunch. So I think it's time for me to get cooking. Nothing is really what it seems anyway 
You get fooled by anyone so easily This is my hiking attire. I got my REI shirt. I've got athletic shorts and these shoes. Sorry, a bird distracted me. So with the shoes, I have hiking shoes that I wear in the rain and snow that are waterproof, but they didn't breathe. So I tried different hiking shoes and they worked good, except they bruised my big toe going down. So I'm gonna try tennis shoes. These are the ones I wear on the boot. They're super grippy. So hopefully these will work. If not, I may need to invest in new shoes. Did I say on the boot? <laughs> okay, uh, time to start hiking. Bird. Into the woods we go. I am already questioning my shoe choice. We're looking at two and a half miles up to the spot and sorry we're going downhill and i have to very much concentrate on downhill stuff which fun fact we're going up so going down right now just means we have more up to do but the walk there is going to be two and a half miles ish and then the way back we're taking a different way because it should be easier on me for the downhill part which will be roughly three miles yep okay so we're doing five miles i said four was kind of where i wanted to be at uh, i'm boundless energy today so hopefully i think we should be good hopefully i'll let you know in a few hours Next hike, Mount Everest. Ooh. Question for my hiking friends. Why are there no wildflowers in the forest? I don't count that. That, that, that is a wildflower. They don't, they don't come the size of tulips and roses because they are man-made. That is a weed. No, it's not. It's <laughs> okay. Has been telling me that apparently this is a good trail which you know fair enough it isn't wet it is compacted um, I would say there's some obstacles in the way though for it to be considered a good good trail to me but for the most part yeah it's good I do believe that this is where uphill starts I'm not pointing down I'm literally pointing straight up Woo! This is gonna be interesting. Don't worry, there's more up, but for now I can I can talk to you guys. Um, heard a very ominous and apparently that's either a woodpecker or two trees rubbing against each other. So here, here. You see, you see this? You see these two trees here? Do I see those two trees? See, see, see this big straight tree. Oh. And that one that's making the X? Yeah. If the wind is blowing, those two trees, one of them is leaning against the other. You can see where all the bark scraped off? Yeah. And so if, if they start swaying, you're going to get them rubbing against each other and they can make funny sounds. I didn't know trees went, but they do. Uh, we determined it was a woodpecker. We can now hear knock, 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 knock. Woodpecker, not a bear. This is a cool tree. These are pretty berries. Are they edible? Don't eat the pretty berries. <sighs> what, just wind pushes them over? 
the big storm comes and makes the ground all soggy and then the uh, wind blows and it blows them over. <laughs> if you look, basically if you look, you think, you think that this root system is only two, three foot deep huh? and that tree is a hundred foot tall. So you end up with just this much holding up that much tree, a little push at the top. Second piece of advice for you guys, don't hike during a storm. step I take I mean it's harder than the other mountain but it's just so beautiful it like pushes you forward to see more faces merchant change but your face remain the same to go straight and up and it turned and up. Okay, gotta pay attention when walking the trail. <sighs> Look at that big boulder. That's cool. It looks like people stand on it. I'm not going to, but it looks like people do. <sighs> All right, more up. So we are, sorry, I'm gonna breathe heavy now. Uh, we are more than halfway done. This is where the fun begins. Uh, it's about to get very steep. Lots of switchbacks. Lots of stuff in the way. It does look very cool up there. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm sweating and breathing profusely. I'm gonna do this because it looks really cool up there. Most of the walk is cool. I'm just dying while I'm doing it. So that's fine. You need to do it more. I need to do it more. Also, Stephen keeps reminding me to hike my hike. Um, I think that's a very good reminder. I will probably have to hear that 20 more times while we're making our way up this hill, mountain, treacherous pass, whatever. Um, but yes, hike your hike. Slow as you need to go, up as you need to up, all that jazz. I gotta focus. Uh, I'm very wet. My, my calves are sweating. Um, on top of that, I'm on the struggle bus. I'm very struggling. Um, I'm going so slow that the mosquitoes are now catching up to me. But I'm so hot I can't put my shirt on. So I need, I need this section to be over. It is whew, just a lot of up and twisting. I'm gonna get through this though. It's gonna feel that much better. I feel very accomplished. Oh, bugs. They're catching up to me. If you walk fast enough, they don't catch up to you, but I am not walking fast enough. So, when I get this done, I feel accomplished. And it is pretty, but I am struggling. Oh God. All right, I'm at the point of the hike where I'm having less than a stellar time. It is very much uphill still, and there is still very much left. I say half a mile, and it's very steep, very hard, and I'm not enjoying it. Um, 
But here's the thing. If you guys have ever heard about the person who swam halfway across the ocean, they got tired and they swam back. But I'm bum. Uh, it's too late to give up now. At this point, it's just too late. I, I have to move forward, find the viewpoint, and sit my ass down for a hot minute. And then maybe I'll have fun again. This, this, this may have been a lofty, lofty goal here that I should have worked more up to because this is, this is hard. Well, that's the view, guys. What do you think? Just joking. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? We're gonna get this from all angles because it is gorgeous. Unfortunately, my camera is not gonna do it justice, but you will get to see some stuff. All right. So you see this? You see this? Look at what I'm standing on. It's just. I think I'm standing on a boulder right now, aren't I'm I? Standing on a really big rock. Yep. Woo! Wait, isn't a mountain just a really big rock? If you peel the dirt off the top, yep. Well, there we go. I've been standing on a really big rock this whole time. Right, but you see, you see that smoke, this smokestack? On the smokestack. There, there's two smokestacks. Oh yeah, okay, the smokestack. smokestack. on the right. Okay, if you go across the water to all the white buildings, uh -huh. you can kind of see boats in the water. Is that Bellingham Bay? That is Anacortes, where you took your class. Oh. So where those, where those boats are, mm -hmm. out in the water, is where you were out in the water. That's cool. Yep. That's cool knowledge there. Where's Bellingham? Uh, Bellingham is up that way, you, behind you. Behind you probably me. can't see it all that well. Oh, well, yeah, because Anacortes, I didn't realize Anacortes was so close. Uh, it is, but you have to drive around all the water to get to it, so it takes a little, it's a little bit longer. Okay. There are so many, there, okay, so the more you turn this way, the more you see like water and islands. It's really cool. And then this like flat farmland in between yeah, with Wigby, mountains. Yeah, because Island is, is down, your, down, down this way over here is Whigby Island somewhere. Oh, I used to live on Whigby Island when I was stationed there. Yep. <sighs> yeah, so Don't be afraid of heights. So Bellingham is back over that way. Uh, also guys, I didn't climb this whole thing. We, we, we drove halfway up this mountain. <laughs> That's about as far of a view you guys are going to get of down. Right, that's as far as I'll go to the ledge. Sorry. Okay. So, the end. We even found us a picnic spot. We're going to sit there. I'm going to put my shirt on because the bugs will probably be attacking me. Bug spray, guys. If you're going hiking, bug spray. So, I'm not going to lie, at one point, I was pretty mad at this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna say, what was he thinking, thinking I could do that? But I did do it. And the view is gorgeous. It worth it? I don't, I don't think I can say it was worth it. That was very hard. It was moderate, it's ranked moderate level. I think I'm, I'm at the easy level right now. I have an incline on my treadmill of one. So yeah, not worth it for me at my level. For him, it's worth it. Gorgeous view. We'll take another look and then we gotta head down for three miles. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my veins. in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right and Make up for what I've lost I was down but things are low Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know
Didn't ever think they I know I've talked a lot through this hike and everything and this is probably gonna be a long video because it was gorgeous and I had a lot to say. Um, oddly, I got very silent when I was not so happy. Um, I know not to talk during that time, so that's what's happened there. But let's do closing thoughts now because I know I'm not gonna calorie count. I'm gonna reward myself for doing a five mile, very steep up and down walk. <laughs> not a walk, a hike. I know I'm gonna have steak. I know I'm gonna have asparagus. You said tenderloin steak? Tenderloin. Tenderloin steak. Oh, and my battery's almost dead. So yeah, let's wrap this up quick. I'll show you guys the steak. Not a calorie count. I expended a lot of energy. Working on an energy balance. Seems to be working. I'm in great spirits. I met some really great people out there on the hike. And I think if I wanna make friends, that might be the way to do it, is continually go on hikes.